hello friends welcome back to laravel 9 tutorial so last day we started about the allocant relationships right so we discussed about the allocant relationships the basic things how actually allocant is working right so basically allocant is an object relation mapper or orm you can say that is included by default within laravel framework so you don't need to include or externally you are already getting these things okay and an ORM is a software that facilitates handling database records by representing data as an object. Okay, so you already knew the brief about uh, the allocant relations. So, in this video, we are going to discuss about the one to one relations. There are three types of main relations that's one to one, one to many, and many to many. Right, so in this video, actually, we are going to discuss about one to one relations. Right. So, what is actually one-to-one -one relations? One-to-one -one relation means there should have a two tables, obviously, and where one table primary key will use the another table as a foreign key, right? Suppose in my application, suppose there is a student, so I think there is no data. Yes, there is no data, and this student ID will use another table as a foreign key suppose student has should have phone and one student can have maximum of one phone number and that will be stored in another table where student id will be used as a foreign key in the phone table okay so i will show you how one to one relations working right so actually i have already a student controller i have a student model also i have a student table right i need another table and i need another model for allocant relations so actually allocant will connect with uh, each model with each table right so now just uh, i'm going to create a new model suppose uh, i'm just going to create a phone model so how to create a model php artisan make model and my model name is suppose phone and i want to create a migration also so just use minus m and actually model created successfully and the created migrations okay now if i just uh, go to the project directory you will get a new model that is phone model is created and also a migration is created so you will find in the database migration and this is the phones table migration right so when you run that migration actually this will create the phone stable okay so i need a few columns extra that is i want to store the phones so for that purpose i want a column like a table a string and let's use uh, the phone okay so i am just adding the heading as a phone and i need a foreign key right so what is my foreign key so i need a student id okay so simply write table and i need a big in type of data so simply write big integer and let's use the student id okay now i need to make this student id as a foreign key so simply just add the um, foreign key so simply write table foreign and so i want to make the student id as a foreign key so simply use the student id and which actually references the id from the students table so just use the references r e a f e r e n c s references the id from uh, the students table okay so just mention that name from so simply write on the table name is students okay and i need uh, to on delete cascade so i am setting on delete cascade okay on delete cascade that's it okay so all are done so what is the error actually i missed the semicolon here okay so phone uh, migration is ready so let's migrate these things so simply write php artisan migrate okay so there is error general error reference column student id and reference column id in foreign key constant phones there is something wrong uh, actually this is showing foreign key are incompatible so let's check the migration so actually there we need to use the uh, unsigned right so we need to make uh, it unsigned okay s i g n e d 
and now let's try again and let's use php artisan migrate again so before that let's clear this and php artisan migrate okay so it's migrating now okay now it's good now if i just go to the database you can see the phones table is added so just go here this is the phones table and here you can see the phone and the student id so if you check the structure you can see the student id is the foreign key okay now i just want to create the relations between the phones and student table okay so let's go to the model that is the phone model and this is the student model so in a phone model just use uh, the public function sorry public function and suppose i am creating a function that is student actually we will find the student from here and simply return this belongs to okay actually in the phone table we are using the foreign key that's the reason here we need to write the belongs to and in the student table actually we have a primary key in the student table that time we need to use the hash one relationship so this is the main difference so we need to use belongs to and here just uh, mention the models okay so my model name is student so app models okay and let's class name is student so just add this so that means phone is belongs to student and in the similar way just make the reverse thing here so simply uh, create a function public function and let's call the phone method okay and here simply just uh, use a return dollar this and here to use the hash one relationship hash one okay and here we need to mention the phone model okay so app models and let's write the phone okay so connection is established now i do insert some records into both tables so that we can face the record we can display how eloquent is working now just add data so i just going to add through a function so it will add dynamic data into both table so simply write public function suppose add data okay so this is my function name. and here we will use the student model as well as we will use the phone model so simply just uh, write here use app models also the phone model okay so both models are using here so that we can access this now just inside the add data let's create a variable for phone and just use new phone okay so just write here new phone and i want to save the phone number okay so simply write that variable phone and uh, the variable name that is the column name is phone okay so simply write the phone and just write some random number so i just write these things okay so this is my phone and i want to insert the data into the student table also so simply just to write dollar uh, st student new equal to um, student okay i just are going to call the student okay and i will just use the uh, student variable to insert data so student name so here we have a name and email so student name suppose just write um, something that is john also just write student email and let's write the email is john at the rate email dot com okay and just make it safe student save function just call it to insert data into the student table and now just after saving i just want to save the phone number so how we can we do this so simple we have a phone function in the student table so we'll call that function to insert data into the phone okay this is actually the relation now i save that into the student table now just write dollar student and call the phone method so here i have phone method so simply copy this so phone 
and this is the method and finally save this and what will actually save my phone data is in inside the dollar phone so simply pass this dollar phone okay and finally return some statement uh, that is uh, data edit or something data inserted okay so let's call this add data from web.php so let's create a route so route get uh, suppose uh, just create a link so my function name is um, add data so I will create uh, that type of links like add data and here simply and here simply write the student controller colon colon class and finally name the add data okay now just go to the add data to insert some data so simply run the server php artisan artisan sir okay so server is running well now just go here and slash add data so data inserted okay let's check so if you check in the student we can see the one data is inserted the primary key is one so i should have one record in the uh, phone table also where id will be used in foreign key okay so just refresh this so we are getting the student id as a foreign key okay so this is my phone number so let's uh, create another um, uh, insertion another data so i just uh, make it another random phone number and simply here write mic and write mic at that email.com and let's uh, refresh this again data inserted and let's check here so we are getting another data and this is another data so here you can see there is one record and for one record there have one entry into the phone stable that is actually the one-to-one -one relation right now just how to get the data so simply if i just want to get data by student id now how you can do this simply just write public function get phone by student id okay and i will pass the student id from the parameter okay so simply write id okay so for testing actually i am passing uh, id from the url but internally you can pass right there no problem on that so simply just use the phone and uh, let's use um, to and let's call the student model so simply write student and i to get a record from the student table so let's use the find id and i will get also the phone record okay so i will get the phone record also so simply just write in this way okay and finally return the phone okay so i will get the phone from the student id okay so let's go into the routes again so just copy this and paste it again and uh, let's my function name is this and here write get phone by student id okay and as we are getting this dollar id so it pass that id so simply just uh, write in this way id okay and if i just uh, go to this link and let's see so simply pass the id so i am i want to get the uh, phone for john so i should get this number so simply refresh this so we are getting this number that is the phone table later right and if i just want to get the this number for mike actually there i have a id 2 so simply just write here 2 i will get the value for mike also okay so very simple means using one relation we can get another table data right this is the allocation relations power so this is basically one to one relation and hope you understand this uh, tutorial and still if you have any queries about this video please comment in a below comment section next we are going to discuss about another interesting topic that is the another topic of allocation relations we are going to discuss about one to many relation right 
so in a base table they have one records and based on that record there may have multiple records in the relation table means uh, as a foreign key we can use the same id okay so for one record there have multiple records in a defined table so it will be interesting so please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye